Not long ago, I took up a challenge to put together a sub £500 PCP package to help the newbies into the sport. Not only was this taken up by the new-to-the-sport shooters, but some of the seasoned shooters too. This has been probably my most asked for review and was taken down a few months ago because, well, time moves on and it's time I took up the challenge again with the help from the guys at Vector Air. But this time pulling out all the stops and with a twist to it, adding something that makes the package specific to them. And this is a review I have been most excited to get back out there. Hmm. Hello and welcome to AAR on Air. Today it's the sub £500 PCP package review. <laughs> to prove you don't have to spend thousands to get an accurate and amazing little PCP package for target work, pest control, or even just for the fun of it. So, first things first, what does this new package consist of? Not surprisingly, for the main part, my choice is still the Gamo GX40, as since first doing this review, I've still not found anything better for the money in PCP form at this kind of price level. We will take a look at it in more detail in a moment. An incredible 4 to 16 by 44 Hugo side focus scope from Vector Optics is also going to be included along with a tin of quality pellets and some quality Bisley targets to get you all zeroed and practised. It then has a genuine gamo matching gun bag to keep it nice and safe when you take it out or store it around the house. Not content with that little lot, Vector is then going to include a top quality Hogan decimeter silencer to make sure you don't upset the neighbours. Not content with one silencer, they're then going to include one of their brand new Vector air designed ultra light silencers. Now this is a silencer with a difference. It has been designed and developed by the guys at Vector Air and tops the scales at an anemic 53 grams and is incredibly quiet. Now just before we do the walk around, time for a cuppa. I never even thought of that. They'll be including one of their rather stylish Vector Air mugs for you to have your favourite brew in whilst you set it up. So. There's quite a package here, and yes, they're going to do this whole bundle for, you guessed it, £499 UK. Wow. So, let's put one of these together and get that Hugo zeroed in, shall we? Blue Peter style, here's one I made earlier. Let's do the walk around, shall we? I have put a video together in the past around the Gamo GX40 and it must be said I am a fan and it is a firm favourite of mine. You see the line between Gamo and BSA is pretty close which means so is the quality and above all the accuracy. They share quite a few parts and anything that gets them close to my BSA R10 Mark II means you should be paying attention in my opinion. Am I being patriotic? Well, I, whilst I would fully admit to wanting to fly the flag for Britain and BSA, I will only fly it though if they produce the right goods. The GX40 then is all black. Starting from the front will ordinarily come without a silencer or moderator and you're going to need one if you don't want to fall out with the neighbours or if you want to stand a chance of getting a second shot off at your quarry. Because this does make quite a little bark. So, it's not particularly long at 960mm, nor particularly heavy at exactly 3 kilograms in weight, unscoped. But you are going to need to add that silencer and, of course, a scope. The barrel on this is one of its major attributes because this is a cold hammer forge match grade item with a standard half inch UNF threaded end. The stock 
is all polymer and it's quite a hard material with none of the soft touch feel to it that is often found on some Virox or FX items and the like. This does of course add a level of durability and should be able to withstand a few knocks and bangs so to speak. The stock has a thumb hole style design to it which does away with the option of thumbs up shooting though. The grip does have some nice stippling to aid grip and this is also carried onto the forestock again adding usability in function rather than form because this is a one-piece molding the trigger guard is also polymer and this incorporates the two-stage trigger which is really nice to use and is preset at a factory weight of around two and a half pounds. The safety is also within the trigger housing. Some people may like this, others have expressed their opinions of how much they dislike it. If nothing else, it is easy to use and is sure-footed. When in safe, it fully locks the trigger and covers it nicely too. Me? I quite like it, but I've grown used to it over the years that I've been using Gamo rifles. The ambidextrous stock does appear to have an adjustable cheek piece but it isn't however it is pretty comfortable and sets your line of sight up nicely well it certainly does in my case there is a real nice clear to read gauge on the front which shows the familiar 232 bar bsa fill pressure it is, however, not in the best of places, but I understand that this is cited here for the ease of manufacture and, of course, to help keep the costs down. So, in that sense, it's understandable. To fill this is a simple process of pulling off the dust cover and inserting the supplied fill probe and, once done, return the cover to help keep out that dust and dirt. The magazines on this little gem are about as good as you can get on a budget or even high-end gun. They are not only simple but they have proven to be reliable and uncomplicated. They are 10 round items and are colour coded with blue for this the 177 and red for a 22 caliber. They have a countdown system on the side and it shows a white dot when you're down to your last round. There is no reverse first insert of the pellet from the skirt and then full rotations before the next... Oh, you know what I mean. Well, you get the picture anyway. Simply turn, drop in your pellet, it locks. Turn, drop in your pellet, it locks. And so on. It's about as easy as it gets. In my experience, these have been faultless and they're exactly the same magazine as BSA use in their high-end rifles. Enough said. This is a traditional bolt system and again, no complaints from me here, with a nice, smooth and sure-footed, definite action. Time to take a look at the power levels then. Naturally, this is the sub 12 foot pound UK version but these are available in higher power levels where permitted. This 177 calibre version was using 8.44 grain JSB pellets and saw 776 feet per second, which is a nice healthy 11.3 foot pounds or 15.3 joules, with an incredibly tight shot spread of only seven feet per second. And this is not regulated, just that good giving you another reason why this sits high on my list of quality PCPs and note I didn't even refer to it as budget in that comment. It also needs a little time to explain the Hugo scope. This is included in the package. This is another high quality side focus scope from Vector Optics with crystal clear lenses even from this one inch tube. The mounts have also been included. The turrets are superbly made and have a lift and lock system to prevent accidentally moving them after you've zeroed. 
I can't speak highly enough of these optics, and the fact that this is included in this package when the scope alone would cost you around £145 is incredible. Right, without further ado, let's get this out at 40 metres and see how accurate this is. I'm expecting good things from this, so it will need to perform. Here goes. I do try not to be biased when doing these reviews, but I've used so many gamos and BSAs and they have never failed to impress. I love shooting them. I love the feel and the accuracy, even of the lower priced models. And this is a joy and a pleasure to use for target work, pest control, or as I say, just for simple pleasure and the fun of shooting. And at the end of the day, that's what shooting is all about. Enjoyment. Will it demand all types of attention at the range with your mates? Probably not, but it will turn a few heads when you start putting in some good, accurate shots and scores. There really is no wonder this review has taken a while to bring back out, because getting hold of these has been a long time coming. It is popular and for good reason. I still maintain it is one of the best of the budget PCPs out there and I make no excuses for that comment. And yes, in part at least, I feel patriotic because a lot of the UK industries are involved in putting this together. I know it's a Spanish owned company, but they didn't simply shift all the production and works over to Spain. They kept it here and used the wealth of skills and know-how of a good old British company. The gun is a really good one and the package from Vector Air, in my opinion, is outstanding value and adds a few unusual things into the mix. Silencers and pretty much everything you're going to need to get you started. OK, you're going to need a pump or a tank. But talk to the guys at Veteran, I'm pretty sure they will help you to get which one suits you best. Have I been involved with them putting this package together? Yes, I have. And I think we've put together a great setup and inclusion of their first runs of silencers for free is a nice touch. Oh, and who doesn't like a free mug? Am I making a big thing about this package? Yes, I am. I know just how good this is at the end of the day and what the real cost of this setup actually is. If you're looking for a complete setup for around £500 mark, all I can say is be quick. Because at this point, it must be stressed that this is initially being launched for the first 10 packages, mainly due to the real cost of that incredible scope. So I predict it is going to be a bit of a bun fight. Now you may think it unfair because it may be that you're not local to them, but they have also started a courier service and can arrange to have these kits delivered to you normally within a couple of working days. Other than asking the guys to pop round to your house and do the decorating, walk the dog and wash your dishes, I don't think they could really do much more. It is great to see them really supporting the shooting community and newbies, even during these uncertain times. Hopefully you've enjoyed this review. If you have, please, as usual, 
give us the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the old alarm bell. Have a look at all this lot and get involved with all the forums and join the shooting community. Have a look at the AAR merchandise just to keep Mrs. AAR from getting bored. And of course, take a look at the Vector Air for this sub £500 PCP package. That's it then from me. I'm off for another tin load of fun with this Hugo Gamo setup. Stay safe and, of course, shoot safe. And thank you so much for watching.